everyone, welcome back. We are in Burbank slash Hollywood, California, and we are at the Warner Brothers studio. Uh, we're gonna do the studio tour today. We're gonna check out the studio store later on. They have so many things to look at here. We are just so excited to be here. We've never done this before. We got here last night and drove down from home. We start off the day going to Sweet Lily Bakery. It's a French bakery. It's a it was French bakery. Our oh my hotel. gosh. It was incredible. The pastries there were out of this world. We also had, I think, Quiche Lorraine. Uh, I think we're gonna try to go back there again tomorrow. But tomorrow, we're actually going to Universal Studios. So that'll be on another video. Such a good start to the day with such good food. We're here with the girls. Hey girls. We are staring at the ginormous Triwizard Cup they have here. If you get too close to it and throw your name in it, something weird might happen to you. I was told I was wrong about the size of the original. I don't know, I don't remember. It's like that big, Mom. I, how are they gonna make me that big? Well, while they figure out how big the original one was, this is massive. They have a lot of stuff out for Wonka, the new movie that's coming out in the next week or so. And they have all sorts of other things here from Wonka, different candies and chocolates. We're riding in a wonderland or snark. Nice cursive singing. But here they have some costumes from the movie. This is super fun. It's, it smells like chocolate in the, in the Wonka area. Yeah, this is the lobby area and they have, like I said, have a lot of Wonka stuff here. <laughs> what are you covering up? Nothing. No. What do you move? <gasps> oh, Wonka mug. No. Oh, don't. You can see here all the different types of movies that have been filmed here on the lot. TV. So many things, obviously. Friends, right? So many historic stories have been filmed here. And obviously, they got an awesome Christmas display. Some of the best Christmas movies out there. Not a fan of Polar Express. Sorry if you are. Don't mean to hate on it, it's just creepy as heck the way that animation is. Love <laughs> most of these stories. All right, here you got the entrance to the uh, kind of the exhibit before the tour starts. You can see a lot about the Warner family and different uh, things that have been filmed uh, and produced here at Warner Brothers Studios. The girls just found Phoebe's guitar from Friends. Oh wow. Oh, that's so cool. That is pretty cool. This is the entrance area before you start the tour, so plan to come a little early and walk around and explore before the tour starts. They did say once your tour is scheduled, you actually have a lot of flexibility as to when you want to start your tour. There's a new one that starts every 10 minutes. If you're not here right at your tour time, they are really flexible with uh, when you actually start. We're not actually allowed to record video during the tour, which actually is probably a good thing. We don't want to be a distraction to others around us. We want to enjoy the tour. We want them to enjoy the tour. So we're not gonna have the video camera out. We will be taking pictures when that's allowed and we'll get back on here when we're allowed to use video again. And before we start the tour, uh, we just checked in and right now it shows you what's on lot being produced and being filmed right now. Looks like they got Young Sheldon, All American, and Jennifer Hudson Show, a bunch of other things that are happening currently. They call me Cat like a Disney Channel Ariana Grande show. Disney does film some things here. The studio tour started with a short film that showcased a lot of the Warner Brothers intellectual properties along with many films and shows that film on location at the Warner Brothers studios over the years. This was a medium to small group tour. Our tour had about 12 people in it. Our tour guide started off the tour by telling us that Jack Warner had a famous quote, which was anything for the picture. And by that he meant anything on property could be used to film on. This even included the parking lot that we parked our car in when we arrived at the studios. The first back lot scene we came up to was what they call New York Street or Hennessy Street. Many different films and TV shows were filmed here over the years. The original Annie movie, upside down kiss scene from the very first Spider-Man movie, along with The Greatest Showman where they sing the song A Million Dreams. The next area we went to was called Anytown USA. Many shows and films have been filmed here, including Gilmore Girls, Pretty Little Liars, even the scene from the finale of Seinfeld where the friends watched uh, the thief stealing from the victim while laughing at them. This white house was actually Mrs. Deagle's house in the movie Gremlins, where she gets thrown out of the top story window in her chair. This tan and white house uh, was Ross's parents' house from the prom scene when they were in high school. And this is the actual staircase where Ross comes down the stairs to surprise Rachel to take her to prom when he sees her boyfriend Chip showing up and taking them. 
This dark brown house is actually also from Friends when Phoebe goes to meet her dad. This big building here is actually called Hudson Hall. It's part of Texas Tech in the TV show Young Sheldon. This Victorian house used as an exterior shot for the TV show Fuller House on Netflix. This is the larger New York area where a few scenes from Ant-Man and the Wasp are shot. Also, this is where we found the best picture spot for the iconic Warner Brothers water tower. So cool to, to see that and to take a picture with it. This courthouse is where they filmed a few scenes from the original Adam West Batman TV show. This is also where you can find the Friends Fountain from the intro to the show, all along with the couch that you can sit on and take a picture in front of. It's also really interesting to see so many of these things from different perspectives versus the original shot you see on screen. The final part of the guided studio tour included seeing sound stages. A show actually gets a sound stage named after it if the show last 10 or more years. And this includes Big Bang Theory, Friends, and a few others that you could see on the lot there. We got to tour one of the sound stages in no phones, pictures, or video are allowed inside the sound stages. And the sound stage we got to tour was where they're currently filming Bob Hart Abishola, which we've never seen, but it was so cool seeing a sound stage that's set up currently for an actively filming show. And to finish things up, we got to drive through the Mill Services building, which is where they make and build props and scene sets for all of the actively filming projects going on at Warner Brothers Studios. It was really cool seeing that behind the scenes shot. We also got to drive by stage 16, which is the tallest soundstage set in North America. Here they filmed Rebel Without a Cause, along with the final scene in my favorite movie of all time, Goonies. And this is where the kids and the Fratellis saw and went on to One-Eyed Willie's pirate ship because this soundstage can be filled with water. It was so cool to see that and hear about that. Well, we just got off the tour. We were able to see the back lots and um, a soundstage, which was really awesome. Now we get to see um, the sets from Friends and Big Bang Theory, which they're not using anymore, so they have them here so you can interact with them more. And there is the iconic external window going into Central Perk, all decorated with uh, Christmas stuff. That is so cool. And here is a lot of merch you can get for uh, <laughs> all of your friends merch that you want, along with your uh, very own friends meal mug <laughs> or a friends turkey spatula. <laughs> or you can get Monica's chef outfit even with a monica monogram on it that is really cool Ooh, even a friends giving friends book that's that's i love this this is so cool they even have a friends lounge fly oh my goodness you can also get shirts clothing plenty of mug options joey's costume along with chandler's one of his costumes rest in peace oh i know barca loungers just like they had in their apartment Central Perk uh, coaster. coaster. Oh, Carrie likes her coasters. I do, but this doesn't really go with my my theme of coaster. I know. We usually get coasters when we travel places. Well, we're traveling here. No, I mean like actual locations. Yeah. Yeah. No. Does this go in the microwave? No. That's correct. Why not? Because it'll blow up. <laughs> what does that say, it louder? Because it'll blow up. You don't know anything about that, do you? No, I don't. <laughs> Yeah, metal on things in the microwave, not a good mix. Uh, it's the holiday armadillo. Wait, is it the actual one that he used? Yeah, I think so. Oh my gosh, that's creepy. Look at his feet. Those are creepy looking feet, man. And those claws. I would be like, have a nightmare if I saw this. They even have a friend's spirit jersey. That was pretty cool. The cool thing about this whole store area is it's super immersive. They have a lot of different, like, these aren't, I don't think these are from the actual set, but they definitely have decorated it like you're in Monica and um, Rachel's apartment. Just for an example that you could see right there, it says cookie time, it's a cookie jar. And if you look right here, they have almost the exact same cookie jar. Actually, probably the same cookie jar, just not the same one maybe they use for filming. And this is just the store. So we went through the store, that was really cool. Now we're actually gonna go through the exhibit area, which has a whole bunch of stuff uh, from different scenes of different movies and shows over the years. Can interact with the screen and take it and it will show you oh there's Benedict Cumberbatch he's the one who did the voice for it 
and it shows you the uh, the reel, the test reel, for when they're figuring out who would be the best fit for Smog's voice. And now Alyssa is trying to build her very own Batmobile. Wow, you can choose what weapons you want on it? Ooh. That's pretty sick. Ooh, put like a rocket launcher on there. <laughs> Maximum damage. We were just on the soundstage for Bob or Abishola. We haven't seen the show, but it was really cool to be on the soundstage and hear some costumes. Yeah, I've never even heard of that show. I have no clue what it's even about. We don't watch really much TV, at least new TV. We watch it once it hits streaming. And from the new Elvis movie, just a, about a year ago or so, you can see one of the costumes from that movie. Right behind me, we're about to go into the Friends exhibit, and there's a line to take a picture on the Friends couch. Yes. I think this is a picture that we're going to wait in line for. Just did the photo opportunity on the Friends couch that, for Central Perk. If you do come here, definitely make sure you set aside plenty of time for the, not just the tour, but everything else, because the tour itself was about an hour. You can hang out in this area for as long as you want. There's so much to do here, so I would say set aside at least a half a day if you uh, end up coming here. This is so much fun. We're now in the Big Bang Theory area. You can see pieces here from the guy's apartment here. And there's another spot where you can take a picture on that couch as well. We just did a bunch of photo ops for Big Bang Theory. They have like three or four different photo ops that you can do with them. They give you a card with a QR code on it. And at the end of the exhibit, you can turn it in and you can pay extra for pic those pictures if you want. I'm not sure if we're gonna do that. I don't even know how much it costs yet, so I guess we'll find out. And we'll let you guys know if we do get them, how much they cost, and if we think it's worth it. There's another exhibit here showing you green screen technology. This one's using The Hobbit when they're walking into Rivendell. Here's a scene from the Ministry of Magic and Harry Potter. And it's showing you, Alyssa's advancing the wheel, but it's showing you all the different layers and elements they add in post-production. Can't imagine how long that process takes. And then color grading a scene. Here is Superman grabbing onto Zod, flying through cornfields. And that's what you see on, on the screen. But what ha what's he actually doing when they're filming in the studio? Henry Cavill is grabbing on to some big giant green pillow. So this scene is actually like, these two girls are sitting right here. Or the way they set up the filming angle, angle makes it look like that. We just did the forced perspective uh, setup. I don't know what you call it. It's like a scene. And you basically sit at a table. Someone is on the shorter end of the table. Someone's at the taller end of the table. It was so much fun. Of course, the girls wanted to sit on the taller spot and I took the shorter spot. So uh, that was, uh, gosh, there's so many cool things to see here. We're about to go in an area where there's green screens. You can take photos and videos here. We did buy a few pictures, three pictures. You get a six by eight photo, like a paper copy, and then they give you a code to download the digital version. $65, I believe, for th those three photos. You can see also on the it, the piece that they give you the photo in, you can see what the green screen area looks like here. They do videos and photos there. The videos were like $40 each, and it was $130 for the whole package. Too. We didn't want to spend that much money. So now we're going to go into the Warner Brothers post-production area of the exhibit. Read along with the script. You're going to do great. Happy Christmas, Harry. Happy Christmas, Ron. What are you wearing? Happy Christmas, Harry. Happy Christmas, Ron. <laughs> what are you wearing? <laughs> Looks like you've got one too. I've, I've got presents. <laughs> yeah. Happy Christmas, Harry. Happy Christmas, Ron. <laughs> What are you wearing? None made it. Looks like you got one too. Well, I've got presents. We just got done with the uh, sound recording portion of the exhibit. It's actually the last part, and uh, it was so much fun. <laughs> All right, it's time for a little bit of a late lunch. It's two o'clock. We are hungry, and they have a Central Perk Cafe here where you can get food, snacks. You can't see it too well with the light behind it, but you got salads and snack options here. You can also get sandwiches, chips. They also have other hot lunch options that they offer. I'm sure they offer coffee. Alyssa is opting for salt and vinegar chips. Ooh, not a fan. She loves them. You can even get Central Perk branded coffee here. Of course, because uh, why wouldn't they offer that? So here you can get a Cuban turkey and candied bacon, a grilled chicken sandwich, or a Caprese sandwich. You can also get cupcakes here, cannolis, donuts, bagels, cheesecakes, so many different things. One of us had to get coffee. We're gonna get Starbucks after this, but one of us had to get coffee here at Central Perk Cafe. Good. What'd you it's get? It's actually really good. It's just iced coffee. 
Yeah. It's iced coffee with cream and pumpkin. Ooh. Yum, yum, yum. I got a cold pesto pasta with sun dried tomatoes. Um, well, I, it's, yeah. And olives, but we won't talk about that. I don't like the olives, but the sun dried tomatoes are good. I thought they were chilies or like peppers, so I took them out, but then dad told me what they really were. Those and look pretty good. Well, Alyssa got a little fruit cup and chips and her nasty salt and vinegar chips. Delicious. <laughs> And we also got one of Rachel's trifle without the meat. Doesn't have peas or carrots or ground beef in it. We're saving all kinds of money because we're staying in a cheaper hotel that has really uncomfortable beds, so we're allowed to eat whatever we want. Yeah, our hotel is not the best. It's a really cute hotel and it's walkable to Universal, but the beds are like the worst bed I've ever slept in. Girl math, because when you wait. Like, what's, what's this girl math you speak of? I mean, it's viral. If you don't spend money on one thing, then basically you can like spend money on other stuff and it's practically free. Like that's girl math. Oh, that I've been, I've been totally doing, makes sense. I've been doing girl math for a really long time. I didn't know it was called girl math, but I love it. Yes. I say that. Alyssa's in favor. I basically say that every time we go somewhere. I'm like, well, we didn't pay for that thing that we thought about doing, so now we can do this. I want credit for this. This is my idea. No, it's not. I mean, I never called it girl math, but it's like... I don't really care. I just want to enjoy this trifle. How is it? Well, you just had the fruit and the whipped cream. Fruit, good. whipped cream, good. We got a chicken pesto sandwich. I really wanted the uh, turkey and candy bacon one, I think is what it was, but they ran out of it. So unfortunately, got this. Carrie got a caprese sandwich. Just be prepared that if you come to places like this, be prepared to spend more than you probably should for food. There is a two or three hour version of this tour. I think it's the gold tour or the gold plus tour. You do pay for it because that tour, I think is almost twice as much as what we paid for this version of it. We just did the standard studio tour for the four of us, which was only an hour and didn't come with any food vouchers or anything like that. Just be aware of that when you go on the website, look for the different options and go with the one that fits your family. But I think we're done here uh, at the main part of the studio. Don't think we're gonna buy any merch today. We are gonna be heading on the last part of the tour. We'll uh, take us out to the Friends Fountain. And I think it's one other thing that we get to go see. All right, well, we are entering into the last exhibit of the day, Action and Magic Made Here. Has a bunch of stuff from DC Comics and obviously Harry Potter. This is really cool. I love this setup in here. That's the uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Mr. Freeze outfit. They got the Joker costume from Dark Knight. Lindsay found the Marauder's Map. This is what they used in the movie? Made, I, is this the actual yeah. one they used? Yeah. That's yeah. so cool. Yeah, it wouldn't be behind glass if not. Wow. A guide here said that these are some of a thousand something screen used wands on set in the filming of all the Harry Potter movies. This is a potions area right here. You can take pictures and just look at some of the uh, ingredients <laughs> for potions. You can press the button on the ingredients to uh, make a certain potion. It will brew a potion for you. That's pretty fun. Next is the sorting hat experience. What house do you think you're gonna get? Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff. Carrie, what house do you think you're gonna get? Uh, Slytherin. Oh boy. Just kidding. I'm hoping for Gryffindor. I'm shrewd and sharp. Oh. Slytherin! Ha <laughs> that, that tracks. You have a love of learning with a brain like yours and has to be Ravenclaw! Lindsay doesn't agree. Gryffindor! Gryffindor! I think this would be Alyssa's favorite class. Ugh. Next, we're gonna go to the cupboard under the stairs, the house on Privet Drive. Lindsay's getting the experience of what it would be like to live under the stairs. Right next to uh, the cupboard under the stairs is a really fun photo op with all of Harry's letters to his first year at Hogwarts. Mr. H. Potter, the cupboard under the stairs. Full Privet Drive, Little Winging, Surrey. So now we're in the DC area and Carrie is lighting up the lasso of truth, putting on her golden wings of I don't know what. That's really cool. Here are all the DC main heroes along with their costumes. You also have Shazam off to the side. This has got to make Shazam feel a little bit left out of the Justice League. 
when he's left out of the uh, main area. Now this is like the original Batmobile from Batman with Michael Keaton in it. This is from Batman Dark Knight Rises. The Christopher Nolan movies, uh, probably my favorite Batman movies for sure. I think we just finished the last exhibit on the tour, but that was a fun, fun tour. And as we are done, we're gonna end up just like any good theme park ride, you're gonna end up in a big store where you can buy a lot of stuff. Lindsay just said something that we've never heard before. Rent was due. Rent was due. There's Gen Z slang term that basically says like, oh, you did super well because you need the, like the money for rent and like rent is due. So like, like, I mean, it's a, it's a phrase. It's if you have to explain it, is no, it even worth using? No, no it, it's, it's just because we're old that she yeah, has to explain exactly. it. Lindsay is trying on Hermione's dress from the uh, Yule Ball. She actually asked me a little bit ago when she saw it, she's like, maybe I should dress up as Hermione next Halloween. That'd be an expensive costume, but it is 50% off. Oh, well, hey. It's almost like asking to be purchased. We just saw the price tag for that dress. How much is it? Keep in mind, it's 50% off. So the original price is $375. Yo. 50% off, it's like, like. Do the math. No, I'm on my break. I'm not gonna do that. But whatever, whatever half of 377. Really pretty dress, but that is a lot of money. You can even get a wizard's chest set. I am digging the uh, retro Batman vibes. Adam West, Batman from the uh, 70s. And it looks like you can actually buy butterbeer. It's butterbeer in a bottle. It's almost like they're trying to compete with Universal Studios or something. Fudge flies, chocolate frogs, all the things you would find at Universal Studios you can find here too. They even have a little bit of stuff from a Christmas story. They even have, ooh, it's a, it's an old man nutcracker with a leg lamp. They have a leg lamp holiday light set. Okay, this is pretty awesome. It's a leg lamp with the fragile box, like bookend for a bookshelf. Never mind. Well, you could use it like that, but it is a ceramic mug. That is a giant box shaped mug. I think I would use it as a bookend for a bookshelf. I think it works way better for that than a mug. And they have a few things from Christmas vacation as well. We are living our best Saturday morning cartoon life right now. <laughs> Carrie has got these like Warner Brothers Looney Tunes magnets. They're only 99 cents. They're on sale. Tom and Jerry long sleeve shirt. I love that really one. Cute. It is really cute. I like that one a lot. Animaniacs was one of my favorite cartoons when I was younger. Same. Oh my gosh. So good. Carrie has a problem. Give me my magnets. <laughs> Let me show people with my magnets. No. Carrie is getting too many magnets. And the girls are worried. For you. Serenity now. Be a goldfish. And they're not as expensive as mugs. So give well, me. Well, I, I decided not to get a mug. I, I'm, I'm controlling myself. Give me my magnets. No. This is why I have a full time job. No. So I can buy magnets. No. Carrie, Carrie. I think you need to let it go. No. Something free. Just get a couple. Sorry if that just gave you nightmares. What's up, Spike? Never had a son but I got to tie a tie, for Lindsay at least. <laughs> I think we're about to head out, but uh, this classic Warner Brothers Studio logo on the shirt, it's a little bit worn out. That is a retro vibe right there, I love that. And for the CW fans of the uh, DC uh, shows that they have on there, they have an Arrow costume here, along with uh, some other stuff. You got Star Labs merch here you can get, and you can even see uh, Grant Castine's Flash costume. Just so many. IPs. Way more than I expected to see here. We had such a fun time today. Warner Brothers Studio is amazing. Yeah. There's a lot of really cool stuff to see here. There's so many like movie IPs and different shows yeah. and so many like, I don't want to say brands, Yeah. but like the IPs. so much. Well, I feel like when we're going to Universal tomorrow, Warner Brothers is a totally different experience. It's yeah. kind of like the whole Universal bat plot is, is kind of like the whole thing, but it's, it's much more interactive. Well, there's the back lot, there's the soundstage tour, there are exhibits they have set up from some of the more iconic shows. Yeah. It's, well, it's not a theme park. Yeah. It's at least a half a day experience. Yeah, I mean, we spent a long time. I mean, it's five o'clock right now. We got here about 10 30, 10 45. And we ate here. And, and we ate lunch here. And we had a great time. So yeah. we definitely recommend this tour. Yeah. It was really fun. It was a great day. It was a great day. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Uh, if this is something you want to do, we definitely recommend it. Uh, we did this again. We just did the hour long tour, uh, which is all you really need to do. But there are other options. So make sure you check out the Warner Brothers Studio Tour site to see all the options there. But it was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time. Bye. Bye.